Hey, how's it going? Today we're going to go over how to draw uh, a witch's pot for Halloween. Halloween drawings is here because Halloween is pretty much here. So I'm going to go over this simply and easily and for beginners. This is going to be step by step for beginners. So if you're a beginner, you'll have a fine time. I'm going to be using this. This is a Faber-Castell P-I-T-T artist pen, big brush. Uh, it's just a marker, really. You can use any marker you want. I use this marker specifically because it's my favorite um, because it has uh, it lasts long and it has a nice pointed edge and it has no odor to it where some markers will have a really horrible smell to them that are bad. It's bad for your health apparently to inhale. This does not. If you do want to uh, click and buy that one, you can go check it out in the description. I'm going to put the Amazon link to it. Uh, but you can use any marker, for reals. Uh, you can use maybe um, like a magic marker. That works too. Uh, also... Don't forget, uh, for paper, I'm using com computer paper. Just simple, easy computer paper. Anyways, let's get started, and uh, it's going to be super, super simple. So right now, I'm going to start with a slightly curved line, like so. And I'm going to make that a complete ellipse by putting another shape around there. So now I have an ellipse. I'm gonna make another curve, which is literally the same over here. Pulling around, pulling around. Okay, I make a thicker line at the top here. Pulling another curved line over here. Just that same curve, and that's gonna be like the liquid inside. I'm gonna throw a curve on this side. Good, start over here and throw another curve on this other side. Another curve right here connecting those two. Then I'm gonna pull downward a bit and throw another curve. Then, I'm going to throw a line over here on the left side, throw a line over here, and that's going to, uh, I'm going to start really just kind of indicating um, a shadow, essentially. Uh, you'll see what I mean in a minute. And I'm going to fill in, as far as the bottom goes here, I'm going to fill in this whole thing, and it's going to be totally black. While I'm doing that, uh, don't forget to subscribe. I'm gonna be posting three videos every single weekday. As of right now, I'm also posting them on the weekend. We'll see how long that lasts. But for now, I'm posting three every day, every single weekday. So it's 15 videos every week. And I'm gonna be filing them into playlists so that they're easy to find. Uh, if you have any requests, let me know. But subscribing is totally free. So if you do like drawing lessons and extremely easy ones, um, you know, this is for you. And you think you'll learn a whole lot over the course of the next you know, few months. Uh, or years even. Uh, but yeah, subscribing also helps the algorithm. If you do like what I do, uh, you know, it also just kind of helps the channel out. Anyways, let's get back to this. Fill this in, and I'm using, this is why I use a marker, because I find this easier to do with a marker. I think with pen, it'd be nearly impossible. It'd be too much time. But uh, Halloween's great. I love Halloween spooky imagery, and I like, um, you know, just kind of, just, just cool Halloween stuff uh, in general. It's, it's just amazing time of year, and it's my favorite time of year. I'm gonna pull a line over here at the bottom, but I'm gonna leave a white line. The reason I wanna leave a white thin line is I want there to be a separation between that and that. Uh, that's really important. And I'm gonna throw another line around here. I really, again, emphasize that I want to leave uh, lines there. I'm gonna throw over here. I'm gonna go over here now. And inside the pot, I'm gonna draw little dots. So like there's stuff going on inside. 
and then above, uh, I'm gonna draw a circle, like, uh, I mean, for bubbles, right? So I'm gonna draw, like, circle shape there. And they're gonna be more or less kind of uh, random. You don't need to put them uh, all over. You can do the different sizes if you want, but I would do about four. So one, two, let's see, three, and then four over here. Yeah, that's pretty good, I like that. And I'm gonna pull, like on each one, I'm gonna pull a, one curved line, and what that does is it kind of forms like uh, some, in, it looks like you have some form of information in there, like a, like a reflection. Right, do them all. And then I'm actually gonna throw in uh, kind of some wood at the bottom of this. So I'm gonna throw in like line over here, line over here. I'm gonna throw in a um, straight line over here. Pull down, down, straight line. And I'm gonna form another line this way. So I want a flat, almost like plywood under there. And I'm gonna put the same shape over here. I'm gonna pull out. Pull another parallel line. Pull across, pull down, down. These two are parallel, meaning they're parallel, meaning they never, they're never really gonna touch. They're like on a railroad, you know? Kind of like these like tracks on a railroad, they never really, they never touch. It's very similar to that. I think I see a bug in my, it's a bug over there. Anyways. Um, and then I'm gonna draw another line right here. This shows the thickness to the actual wood on there and it kind of sells the imagery more when you do that. And I could probably throw uh, like this wood over here continuing on in the back. Out over here, like so. So you have kind of like, okay, now you have two planks of wood out there and that's more or less what's going on. Uh, but yeah, that is pretty much it. Hopefully you found that easy. You can even throw in like some lines right here for the, you know, texture of the wood. Hopefully you found that easy because uh, I, I found that very fun to do. Uh, this channel's been amazing for me. Thank you so much for supporting me. Everyone's been super amazingly nice. And I feel like this channel saved my life. I was very, I don't know. I, I really, really feel this lifts my mood doing this channel. And I'm gonna put a lot of effort into it and I'm gonna keep going uh, as long as I can. Thank you so much, and I will talk to you in the next video, and we'll do some more easy pictures to draw. So, talk to you soon, and uh, talk to you later. Goodbye.